M0 FXB both on UV K5, K6. Someone asked me to load the latest Exuma firmware. You're going to need this cable. I'll put the link in the description. Plug the cable in here, just the twin pins there, into your PC as well. When you plug it in your PC, go to your Windows squares here, right click. Let me just move this radio on the Windows square. Device Manager, double click and then go here, look, USB serial CH340, so it's CON3, that's the number you want. So now back to the Exuma link, uh, which is just here. Now I'll put the direct link in, this is via browser, so you don't have to download anything, is what I like, so connect your cable. Uh, and it automatically puts the latest Exuma there, which looks like it's 22. And then you need to put it into firmware mode. So turn off the radio, like so, and push the PTT and turn on. And the torch comes on, blank screen, and you're in firmware mode. And then just press flash, and it's going to ask for that COM3. Do that again, and we're looking for COM3. Where is it? Um, I did find it, there it is there. Connect, and it just flashes. And it's really good firmware. We'll have a quick look at the instruction manual page as well. But one of the neat ones is you can hold down the five and, you, and it will scan between a start range and a finish range. Let it do its thing. That's it, it reboots. And just for example, you can see here, and it's got the airband fix, so it's going to be the best sounding airband for one of these budget radios. But anyway, if you press and hold, if you type in a frequency further, for example, 145 there on the A band, and to go to A and B, just press and hold 2, and it goes up and down. So on the A band, we type in one. Four, five, let's go 800, for example. Go to the B band, press and hold, leave that at one, 400, and then press and hold five, and you've got a scan range, start and finish. Exit, will it let me exit? I'll PTT, I bet. Yeah, to come out, you actually hold down the five again, and to go back in, and you can have it at the top or the bottom if you come out and go to the press and hold to the A band and then press the five and it scans when you press and hold the scan. It's quite fast actually, it's scanning now between those parameters. You you can set the you know the frequency step. So it's very fine at the moment. And also you can stop it with the PTT. You can also, if you press and hold, let me just do this. Press and hold five. Well, let's stop it first. Press and hold five. Then get this time, go, go F, then five. And you get the whole, you can, you're scanning now, but you can actually visually see it. So that's pretty cool. And then the, there's a thin white line there, just above the threshold. Let me unplug this. It is that sort of weird squashed AM, if you ask me. Um, but, you know, it's a £20 radio. So to bring the sort of squelch line up and down, you just you move it up and down with the F. Look at that. Down with the F. Up. Up with the scan. And then adjust it accordingly. To change the step rate, press the... This is like the frequency gaps up here in the corner. Press the 1 and this all the seven and it changes the step rate oh if you press the zero you actually change the mode see that upper side band fm am that's what we're getting there as well and yes you you can type in you know you can do the cb frequencies if you want and uh, let's just exit out of that. F, 
five. Look at that as a frequency input selection there. So let's just go zero to seven. Oops. Let's just put that in a minute. One sec. Right back to the beginning. So we're going to go zero to seven five 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 on the B. Uh, we'll go zero to nine um, five 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 again. Then press and hold five. And then we'll go, well, you know, we can just press scan or we exit a minute. Oh, press and hold F5. And then we're in the scanning and now we're scabbing the, scanning the CB and we can bring that down. We need a CB antenna, otherwise you're not going to pick up much because you need the right antenna for the right band. You know, that's the one thing to remember. Air band, if you stand outside with the stock antenna, you're actually going to do something that'll be OK. Uh, but when it comes to um, a CB band, you need a, really you need a much longer antenna. Um, so and if you're going to do any bands, unusual frequencies that this radio can get now, it's got Exuma. You're going to need to swap around the antennas or just take off the antenna that you've got. Get yourself a disc and put it in the loft and then just screw it, you know, screw with an adapter. And there's lots of adapters. Just look up SMA adapter. Yeah. And then you can add your external antenna. But anyway, this was really more about just loading up the latest firmware easily in 2025. Bye for now.